what's going on guys i uh, just got done with the coyote stand here and uh closing in on darkness here and figured i'd take just a few minutes to give you a rundown on what one of my daytime coyote stands looks like i get that question quite a bit here on the channel so it's going to take a few quick minutes here and kind of give you a rundown a breakdown of how i set up uh during the daytime so i'm set up here on the ground and i'm using a pad it's kind of like a backpack and i'll show you guys a close-up view of that here in just a minute It's just a pad and it's got back support real easy to pop up anywhere and uh, you don't have to have a tree or anything to lean against makes it real nice you'll notice here behind me i've got a gopro hanging up and then here i've just got my rifle leaned across my lap always ready and tonight i'm just using a bog shooting stick got my main camera here then I'll kind of tell you a little bit about what I'm doing here with the wind. I didn't have any luck on this stand, but you'll notice it's pretty thick out through here. But I'm pretty familiar with this area. And coyotes usually come from over in here or back in this corner. North is this way. And I've got a north wind coming out of the north, so it's cutting straight across me. You can see right here how the wood line kind of ends. So that's exactly where I stopped and set up. So I know if the wind continues this way, that I've got all this play area right here where coyotes can come in. Over here, I can shoot out to about 250, 300 yards. Down here is a hot spot. Uh, come in, down there is probably a 100 yard shot. But by cutting this wind, um, one mistake that might be made is you could go in closer to where the coyotes are, but then you're pushing your wind directly into all this timber. So I'm set up kind of right here where the wood line ends. That way I've got all this where coyotes can come out, feel safe. They still feel like they're cutting the wind. They're getting wind against their nose, but they can't smell me because the wind's going this way. And if they come out of this timber over here, they might try to circle downwind, but they would have to get all the way to kind of right in this area before they can smell me. So hopefully I could pick them off right up here. And my electric call, you can't see it, but it's only about 20 yards away. It's right up here behind this bush. I don't ever put the call too far away from me. Uh, daytime, I definitely put it further away from me than I do at night, but typically 20 to maybe 35 yards away. So I'm out here at the call right now, and then you'll see right here is my gear where I was set up. So not too far away. And this is that chair I was telling you about. I'll show you guys. It's got a little backpack in it. That just allows me to lean up against the back of this pad here. It allows me to set on this pad anywhere. Don't need a tree to lean against. I'm going to try to do this one-handed, show you how handy this little chair is. On the bottom is this little stuff sack. It can be hard to do one-handed. But this call, the Lucky Duck Roughneck, will fit right inside of here. There you go. Sorry about that. I had to set the camera down, but that shows you there. That fits right inside. My camera. Fit right inside of there. Shooting sticks on top. And then you can just wear it like a backpack. So there it is. I can throw this on my back. Got the camera in there, shooting sticks on top. Wear this like a backpack, sling the rifle, and we're good to go. Running out of daylight here, guys. Appreciate you watching. Be sure and comment down below if you have any questions. See you on the next one. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya.